Calm Down with Aaron and Carissa is a production of iHeartRadio. Five, four, three, two, one. I don't know why I even need to do a countdown anymore. Here we are. Welcome, everybody. Another episode of, or edition, is it called episode or edition? I'm not sure. Still new, new with the edition. whole podcast. Edition? Sure. Not new sure. edition. They're not here. Um, welcome, everybody. Calm Down Podcast. I had to audible, for those of you that aren't sports fans, that means change the play at the line of scrimmage. Um... I was doing a, our, uh, I'm doing a renovation for a home and they don't have Wi-Fi there. So guess where I am, Aaron? Where would, el- I mean, where else would you want to be? For right? Priscilla's pad. A I lot know. of girls. A lot of this girls are, are, are enviable of this position right now. So um, Ryan and you and a bunch of people all kind of live in the same vicinity. So I cruise down here real quick, knowing that we are going to have the Ryans on the podcast. Um, so I'm excited. Ryan's uh, over in the other room right now watching games. Who knew that the NBA scored so many points? Anyways, um, how was your week, babe? Um, week was good. The Thank God the draft was on. I mean, it, what a way to kick it off. Uh, Aaron Rodgers apparently wants out, so the sources say. Who are these sources, and where did they get their intel? That's what I want to know. The only person I listen to is R.J. Glazer. So, yeah, that made, I think, all three days just so exciting. And also, it's just fun to talk about the NFL. You worked a little bit of boxing, which I, I don't even know how you got mentally prepared for that. How was it? I did. Um, full disclosure, even when our um, executive producer called me and was like, hey, um, what are you doing on May 1st? Can you work this boxing event? Per our previous conversation that we had with the sweet ladies that were asking for career advice, say yes and figure out the rest later. So yes. I said yes and then studied <laughs> because I knew nothing about the fight. Um, but it ended up being great. It was a wonderful fight, went 12 rounds, um, and it was a good experience. And again, I think I'm reminded that even as long as we've been doing this, sometimes it's good to put ourselves in uncomfortable positions or even be asked to be, um, you know, to host something that maybe isn't our expertise. And I think mm-hmm. for me, the best way to approach that was just with some self-deprecation <laughs> and be honest with the viewer that, hey, I don't cover this sport. But um, I mean, I'd like to believe I know TV. But anyway, so it was a good experience. It was a reminder that I really, really love live events. I mean, we were, um, you know, at the Dignity Health Center. It's changed names a bunch of times. But um, we were at the Dignity Health Center seeing a live sporting event is something that I haven't been to. I mean, I know that you are out on the road every single week, but I'm in studio. So I haven't been to a live event um, in a a year and a half. So for me, that was enjoyable just to be with a crowd and um, sort of stretch my wings in that place. But yeah, so I'm excited. And also it is our birthday. By the time this episode airs, um, it will have been our birthday and we will need a lot of Advil because hopefully we'll be enjoying it together. Our husbands are out of town, so we're going to celebrate together. And um, yeah, birthday's not really my thing. We were talking about this. I I don't like birthdays. Do you? I I don't even know if you know this about me. I have a very awkward situation. I don't like um, opening gifts in front of other people. Mm -hmm. I don't even like acknowledging gifts in front of other people. I will leave the gifts and the cards there on the table and just say, thank you so much until everybody leaves. Mm -hmm. I have literally left gifts on the table for a month. And my husband has said, are you going to open that? Whereas like Jarrett is somebody, he rips it right away. (laughs) He throws it all at out, throws, uh, you know, it out right away. And I'm just like, Jesus Christ. I mean, did you enjoy the holiday? It's all over. So I am, I'm very awkward about it. I like to have my minute and I think that has to do with attention. So yes. And in a nutshell, birthdays, no, I like drinking. I like celebrating. I like being taken out to dinner, but yeah, no, no. Yeah, no, I'm the same way. I think that's also why I didn't want a wedding. I know your wedding was very small, but I didn't like the On idea. my husband's birthday, by the way, which he loved. There we go. More right? reasons to celebrate. Yeah. But yeah, oh, I, also party. you can't forget his birthday or your anniversary. So you guys got no. back on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Why did you guys exactly. decide to have it on his birthday? Uh, it just worked it was out? the weekend that was available at the yeah. in Montana. Yeah. It just worked with the schedule. And in hockey, you only have like a certain right. amount of like weekends and all that. So that yeah. makes sense. Yeah, sure. Does it? I don't know. Maybe it was cheaper that weekend. I don't know. Um, so Ryan, what are you eating? In- oh, Tacos. where is he? <laughs> Taco Monday. I love that. So in celebration of our birthday, we wanted our two favorite Ryans to come on. Someone mentioned our husbands, but we were like, yeah, no, that doesn't work for us. Our husbands Um, do not want to talk about us. 
No. <laughs> um, Ryan Russillo gave me an idea a couple weeks ago when I was showing him a horrible outfit of me working the Stanley Cup. Game seven, Tampa Bay, Calgary in Tampa, like I said, for the Stanley Cup. And he said, we should have saved a piece of clothing from each year that was totally horrible. And I said, you know what? Let's go through like pictures of us throughout our career and have Ryan Randall break it down for us. And that's what we're going to do in this podcast. I love it. I mean, I have, all it takes is a Google search to find out how many bad outfits and hairstyles I've had over the years. But, um, (laughs) you know, look, a little self-deprecation goes a long way is what it is. When did you start wearing extensions? Because I feel like that's a lot of our pictures. I started wearing extensions, I think maybe, I remember I got them for a Christmas game. I remember I wore an orange blazer for it. I don't, it was a bowl game. I don't remember, but I was so excited. Um, I got totally out of control for it. I mean, like just the extensions got crazy. I still got them, you know, giving my head a little bit of a break right now. Your hair is actually really long. Thanks. It's not, but it's, it's getting there. Whatever. We're working with it. These are broken. Um, Mine are broken. Yep. I've had them for a while, but I know I went back this weekend and really looked at pictures of myself and just thought to myself, oh my God, this is awful. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, sadly though, I mean, it's a blessing and a curse. Our jobs, (laughs) unlike most people's jobs, do remind us of how bad our outfits and hairstyles have been, but hey, it's fun. Um, and gonna- people on Twitter remind us too. So thank you all of you mm-hmm, so much for mm-hmm. forgetting about our feelings and our confidence level <laughs> and, uh, you know, uh, making we'll comments. Go through all of that. And again, um, I think that sometimes when people are like, I, I said like, oh, you know, microphone and I share a birthday. People are weirded out that we share a birthday. It is a little bit odd. But what's even more odd is I was supposed to be born on May 11th. Um, that was my mother's due date for me, but May 11th was already my father's birthday and my sister's birthday. So imagine if it would have been all three of us. So that's an interesting fun fact. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. I wish my mom had held me in till May 5th so I could, you know, celebrate Cinco de Mayo with my friend Megan Carter, but I was born at 111 on May 4th. I was born so fast, almost in the um, parking lot of the hospital in my parents' Dotson that I was almost named Dotson. So, you know, I had things to do. You did. I was, uh, it's weird that I know this. I don't remember a lot of specifics, but yeah, 6.59 p.m. I know this because Kathy Thompson always texts me on, at 6.59 p.m. Aww. on my birthday. Um, I was born nine pounds, 11 ounces, which is massive. Um, so I'm surprised she even did it naturally. But anyways, here we are. We have, um, a fun podcast ahead of us. Ryan's in the other room. (laughs) By the other room, I mean 10 feet away from me right now. Um, Ryan, thank you for letting me crash your house. We are going to talk to the Ryans when we come back because the people want what they want. They keep Mm -hmm. asking, where are the Ryans? And for our birthday, they are appeasing us and giving us a little birthday present with a trip down memory lane. And we will also supplement our podcast because a lot of this podcast will be about visuals on our Instagram account, which Aaron dominates. Yep. Um, And uh, yeah, we'll give the people what they want for our birthday and make sure you check out our socials too. We'll post all these pictures on there so people can do, you know, make us feel worse about ourselves. And that's on (laughs) Calm Down Podcast IG. So check it out. We're at 11K, you know, (laughs) really crushing the views. We'll be back with more. That is if Ryan doesn't choke on the tacos that he's having. <laughs> oh my God, have some water. <laughs> Did he make the tacos himself? <laughs> I, yes. No, they were delivered right before we started the podcast. Well, there he is. Look at this guy. You know, he always helps out someone in need, this guy does, and great Wi-Fi. We're not going to have an issue over here. The Ryans are back by popular demand. Ryan, thank you for letting me crash your house. Um, I always have issues in technology, so let's see how this goes. Maybe it's a me thing. Hi, Ryan Randall. Hello. How are we? We're good. We're so excited. Thank you, guys. This is our birthday present from you. So you don't, don't worry. If you already sent something in mail, don't worry about it. That's tomorrow, right? 
It, well, yes, it will be. By the time it airs, we will be um, recovering from our hangover from our birthday party. But we're all having a beverage. I'm going to cover the sponsor. You're not having a drink because you're you don't drink anymore. I have to. I have to get up super early, so I know where these go. <laughs> Ryan's also watching games in the background, which is news to me since I don't watch any NBA. I didn't realize how many points are scored in the league these days. But that's not important. Aaron and I have covered sports for a long time, and we all have had, we were joking about our terrible outfits that we've had. Whoa! Oh, wow. All right. So we're right into the next one. This oh. is um, as full a description. A yeah, exactly. As a pod expert, explain to the listeners right. okay. what we're seeing. So we're on slide two now. <laughs> and uh, this was me presenting somewhere. Now, that jacket I'm excited about, and I still own. Is that leather? No, it's oh. uh, kind of a linen blazer from Xenia, and I bought it with the uh, money I made hosting a TV thing, not splash type of money. Wow. But I was like, you know what? Whatever I get out of this, I'm just going to buy a jacket that I would never buy elsewhere. So then that, and then, you know, the handkerchief was ridiculous. I think at that point I may have stepped up to a Brioni shirt. So this whole thing, this whole top is expensive, but I'm still hanging on to the hair. The double chin is outrageous in this photo <laughs> shoot. I'm just not photogenic. But what I've learned is it's kind of great because when you meet me in person, you're like, oh, he's not repulsive. <laughs> Rye, your thoughts on this look? I mean, well, is that I just want to know if he ate a shit sandwich. What's that look on your face? No, I'm kidding. Is that also the blazer that you just like keep in the car for like when you have to throw on a blazer? It is that like, kind of blazer, oh, Ryan. You can't have dinner without it, but you're like, I've got one in the car. Great. Like, <laughs> right. Great observation kind of because like I, one of the sales points was. You know, and when you're flying around for business, you can keep this in your attache and, and you can take it right out. And, you you know, he goes, it's actually even comfortable in a plane. I'm like, dude, I I basically wear diapers now on a plane, like these guys that are in blazers. But yes, that was that was a big selling point. I still have this. I move with it. People ask me about it. I've only brought we'll it up it. a few we'll times. We'll get it in the, in the commercial break. Ooh, I want exactly to make sure I wear that for the end of this. I'm, I'm proud of this. I still like this purchase. I don't like this look, though. I'm, I'm in the middle of confusion. No, you were trying to be a model in this, but I know exactly what this pose is. I've had it many times where it's like you're trying to be serious and smoultry and like the whole thing. Also, the deal. Randall, whenever- what are you Go ahead, what are you yeah. asking, Randall? I mean, A, I want to know who is asking about this blazer <laughs> as indicated <laughs> by the other Ryan. Um, and B, are you still a fan of a gingham shirt? Well, um, I'm not anti gingham. I don't, I don't, th- I, I'm sure I'm probably behind a little bit. I've kind of accepted as I get older, I'm probably missing trends by about 18 months or so, <laughs> but that's okay. I'm okay with that. I still have, I still have both of these things. The, the other setup we don't have anymore. Um, but I think EA is on it because the biggest thing is when you're on those step and repeats or whatever they call it, is that what this yeah, called? No, it's exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody was kind of like, who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> no. <laughs> there was a lot of that for me. So you I didn't have a sign holder. Me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This was a college football thing, clearly. I see the ESPN in the background. Great eyes. I will say thank you so much, Ryan Randall. I am into a gingham shirt. Not sure because I don't know anything about fashion. Buy my clothing line. Um, <laughs> that I don't know if there's it's still in. I was at, I'm gonna just say it right now, Jonathan Quick's house, because I'm friends with his wife, and he came home in a gingham shirt. He looked great. And I told him. I, I'm not I was just inquiring minds want to know like oh. i am actually a fan of a gingham shirt i think Same. it's seasonal and it's it's geographical you throw on a gingham shirt in a la warm southern california weather or out in newport or maybe martha's vineyard and you martha's fit right vineyard in still plays yeah oh yeah yeah mm-hmm. plus quickie babes has those tats all up and down oh, his, like, give arms, me a sleeve so it you could wear anything really mm-hmm. freaking works yep Next. i think he had 33 saves the other night you know what i mean <gasps> Wow. Oh, this wow. is not an outfit. I know. I was going to, well, I didn't submit Welcome this. I didn't submit this. I didn't submit a headshot. Did you submit this to Love Island? No, it must have enlarged like my, um, you know, waist size as things went on. I think what this original picture that was submitted was um, at least the blazer to show you I was steadfast in the black blazer. But while we're here, Ryan Randall, what I'd like to have you um, Amanda critique Bynes is, and her murdered vagina is the <laughs> edit. Can you is, see that here? Is the breakage of this hair because this is right after I went black hair and then went back to blonde because you know I was on a suicidal path to Frumpyville. AJ, that's what uh, that's been said about you. It is uh, AJ, not Derulo. 
And so there's mm-hmm. so much breakage January. happening here. And these hoops, I thought the hoops, like anytime I wore big hoops, I was like, it'll make my face look skinnier. Mind you, I'm still wearing hoops right now. Um, so yeah, so this is not really much to say here since this photo blew up. Um, so Ryan Rusillo, what's your worst nightmare with hooking up with a girl with extensions? Mm-hmm. Oh. Well, I thought it was like a, a thing everybody made fun of. So I didn't know. I thought it was like a bad thing. Like, oh my God, this is terrible. And then <laughs> they were they were off on their own. They went for like a little trip. And so when I woke up the next day, I was like, what the, what is this? And then I was like, I can't believe her hair fell out. And so I was thinking like <laughs> I was a loser, but I didn't realize like that was the deal. It just that whatever, whatever her glue situation was, it wasn't very solid. <laughs> so, or clipping. Right. So I was kind of like, man, like I was looking down at myself like, man, they picked up the girl, the wig. <laughs> it's like the scene in Pretty Woman yeah. where Richard Gere looks over and he sees her natural red locks flowing yeah. and he's like much better. Fabulous. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's what my story is going to be. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing redhead sleeping over. She doesn't go anywhere that she's photographed. Animal print was huge. I, and yeah, animal, animal print, print still neutral. is. No, it took a break for a while. It recently came animal back. Animal print is the ultimate neutral. You listening to me? I'm trying. It's a neutral. Oh, there's yep. the cami. Speaking yeah. of the heart of the ocean, right around my <laughs> neck, Jack. So this is EA, another college. This is outdoors. Pissed side off. Line. No, this has got to be, I know what exactly. I would never wear that shirt for college. This is the Little League World Series or the College World Series. But you're outside. I'm pissed off. It's hot. My hair looks like trash. Again, no blending with the extensions. I've got the heart of the ocean around my neck. Some weird, I know what this is. It's a purple cotton dress. Again, apparently I feel like I need to wear a cami because God forbid I show I'm a woman, W-O-M-E-N. So (laughs) real tightened up over there. Uh, Yeah, I just love doing five games in one day, you know? Um, Omaha. This isn't a bad, there's nothing wrong with it. Yeah, I was going to say the color, and it's a good color. I like, you know? A vibrant color. Well, when you're covering Oregon State for two weeks, you know, you don't want to look like you're cheering for them. So you go purple. It's neutral. Rule number one, and we will omit who did a whole tutorial on this, but um, yeah, you're not supposed to wear the color of the team you're covering. So that's why you have a backup outfit Mm -hmm. just in case. Yeah, or Or you can have somebody complain from, what was it, Oregon or Auburn because you had a Reebok right. deal and then it like changed yep. everything. No, I'll tell you exactly what there. that was. was TCU slash, who did they play? Wisconsin in the Rose Bowl. Did they play Wisconsin? I thought it was the national championship because of nope, Oregon. No, it was the Rose Bowl. All right, so what happened? Are we doing this? Uh, yeah, I thought so. We don't have to. <laughs> Maybe you still have deals in the works. I never know what you guys. I don't have deals. So I'm not doing this. I'm being a b- businesswoman right now. Oh, uh, I will say, though, it was back lame. in the... I'll say that. It was very lame. Well, when you hear the real story, it really was lame. Right. Because, yeah. So, to recap, and again, for those of you listening, maybe this has been a very boring podcast, but if you have a visual support, um, link in bio, then it's been a lot of fun. Um, my takeaways are very bad extensions. Um, always wear a cami if you want to be professional. And, when in doubt, have a blazer in your car. Yeah. Or, um, you know, have have better contacts in the PR photo department because <laughs> I didn't. Our producer, Ryan, who Ryan Randall loves, um, wants us to talk a little bit about Bill Gates getting divorced. I was sad about this. I've got to be honest. I was. Don't know so him personally. No, I wasn't. I'd love to be really close to them. But <laughs> I, 27 years of marriage, that sucks. Ryan Randall? I mean, listen, I think you know, we like oftentimes put these people on pedestals, right? It's like they have, it's like, like, look at the whole Bezos thing. Um, So like, I love that they can make a mutual decision and live their truth. And um, yeah, like they can do whatever the fuck they want. Like they've got more money than almost everyone. Um, Yeah, no, I say good for them. And um, I'm sure that neither of them uh, we'll have trouble finding a worthy suitor. My girlfriend, Heather, actually just put on a text chain with our uh, group of friends that she was available if any of us knew Bill. So, <laughs> Is Bill on Raya, you think? Like Friday? 
I don't think, yeah. Super I'll find books, out. Like tech. You have to, by the way, do you think I'm going to accept it? <laughs> what? It's, you have to get like a, refer, a referral to get into Raya. No, I know. I've heard about it. Is that still a thing, what though, what, what, is what that friends of over? Bill Gates are like on Raya? In it was super exclusive. And I feel like now it's like anyone and everyone. So you're saying Raya's played now? Did you think the thing going around, the girl who released the video said I matched with Ben Affleck and thought it was a joke. And then Affleck sent her a video was like, what are you doing? He, she unmatched him. And he was like, why are you doing that? It was me. It was me. And now the video's out. It's been going on all day. And it's hilarious. So he was no, on No, he's with J-Lo. I want Benifer to be back. No. Not hooking up. What? I, just, I gotta think, though, it's tough to follow A-Rod. But not hooking out. up. <laughs> Is it, though? He has a lot of interest. Uh, back to the Gates thing, though. No, that's that's gonna be... I mean, I don't look. None of us know what happened. All this stuff's gonna be written about it. You're right, Ryan. It's it's their private life. But you do kind of wonder, like now, like what what happened? Where? Because I can imagine at some point it's like, man, you work a lot. <laughs> and then it was like, oh, this worked out. You just watched the I want the documentary on him where he goes up and he's reclusive for months at a time up in a secluded area in the same. Dude, try months. a year, months. You're talking about you and COVID. We whenever we tried to get together with Ryan during COVID, he's like, no. No, not doing it. Right, Aaron? We, Just was, give us this shit about when you can't go out to eat with us because the four o'clock games have to be over. I mean, we're really going to have to deal with this crap when you are settling down with a woman. Like, th there's some things that's going to have to be a give and take. Yeah, but then she's going to be looking outside of my house going, all right, so he watches all these games and this is why we live here? By that, he means the the son that's <laughs> <laughs> the sun is blinding, Carissa. Before we uh, wrap this segment up, we are going to need a Dodger street beat, which the two of you, I don't know if you know the Ryan uh, Randall street beat situation. Oh, well, I've got Randall, the voice notes. I want the Ryan Randall here for ABC7, NBC4, Fox Sports 219. Yeah, two CNN, C-SPAN, all of okay. it. Give us the Dodger street beat. I mean, there's nothing no. to beat today. Start with, with your Ryan Randall. Really? Is yeah. this like my audition tape? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Do it. Um, all Ryan right. Randall. Ryan Randall reporting live here on the mean streets of Chicago, where today's game has been, you've got it, postponed. Tomorrow's doubleheader, 1140, 1140 and 440? I don't know. Kershaw kicks off. Kicks off game one, 11.20. Now I'm fucking it all up. No, you're not. I no, I want to be this one. 4.40. <laughs> Tomorrow, doubleheader in Chicago with Daddy Ross. We love Daddy <laughs> Daddy Ross. Uh, yes, we will give you further updates from the Street Beat crew here in Chicago, reporting <laughs> live for ABC7, NBC4, <laughs> CBS2, CNN, C-SPAN. And wherever you get your street beat news. How are the Dodgers do doing right now? I mean, listen, it's been a rough couple of weeks-ish. They killed Milwaukee last game. What, 16-3? I don't like that term. I think. <laughs> um, murdered. <laughs> Stomped better. on. Uh, yeah, a couple of, uh, grand slams. It was quite an exciting <laughs> game, I must say, kids. Also, I found out, yeah, I was yesterday years old, that a lot of people didn't know, and I'm not, like, a huge, I, yeah. The Milwaukee logo is an MB, not, was meant to be an MB, not a glove. Did we know that? No. No. A the lot of people one, didn't know that, which I just found out yesterday, which I found so interesting. That's great. I'm never going to look at that logo the same. Well, um, I know you guys it's have a great logo. I know you guys have to go. And I like the slide. It was submitted like in one of those random, like, make us a logo and we might use it contest. We'll say anyway, back to the Dodgers. Yeah, follow your dreams. Well, Aaron and I have tried to follow our dreams despite our outfits. We appreciate you guys weighing in. Ryan, I say you bring that headshot back. It's timeless, you know? Yes. Um, the jacket one, the blazer. Anytime. And I may actually have the original 
um, audition glasses of Clay Aiken in my possession. Oh my God, you buried the lead. When we reconvene here, you know. What do you think he sang? What was his song? What was his song in the finale? Oh, it was a good one. I loved a Clay Aiken finale song. Hold please. Did you? Mm. He had some soul to him, Clay. A lot of the other guys. I did, I loved it. And Ruben always carried a towel. That's my kind of (laughs) guy. Invisible. If I were invisible. Yes. I loved it. Um, That is right. Guys, thank you. Lakers are on. It's our birthday. Thank uh, God. Happy birthday. Thank you for Mar- our uh, birthday, birthday present, which Cheers. is blessing us with your time, Ryan, which is so important. And thank you for your house and your Wi-Fi. Thank you for friendship. Oh. If, if you could just give me 30 minutes to just share some thoughts. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Ryan Randall, thank you. You have 700 jobs. Thank you. Happy birthday, like girls. 700. Love you. Calm Down with Aaron and Carissa is a production of iHeartRadio. For more podcasts from iHeartRadio, visit the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts.